Krios Whale here and bringing you another audio. As many of you may be aware, Chris Krios, the CEO, has been busy off traveling the world, catching up with his American team, busy doing interviews and continuing to network. He recently caught up with Eric Vaughn. Uh, that's a really great interview if you haven't already seen it. Uh, it was great to see Eric's enthusiasm and support for Krios and the platform, especially commending Chris on his uh, vision and determination for bringing Krios to life. Whilst that was happening, they also had their first uh, major partnership with Mercury Media. Uh, they have clientele with the likes of Nordstorm, so that's going to be hugely beneficial when they start to collaborate. In the meantime, uh, myself and 10 others have been busy um, testing the new wallet app that's about to be released. Um, we've been ironing out any last bugs and reporting them to the devs, ensuring it's uh, seamless operation. Uh, I'm really impressed with how it's turned out. Um, it's packed with loads of smart features and I love the idea that you'll be able to open your app where all your coins can be safely stored and see live updates on where the market is currently sitting um, and be able to see the different exchange rates on different exchanges. With charting, QR codes and uh, fingerprint and pin coded security, look, you can't go wrong. Definitely exciting times for when that comes out. Krios were uh, inadvertently caught up in the crypto sweep, uh, the crackdown that the NASSA had, uh, the North American Security Securities Administrations Association. <laughs> Bit of a tongue twister there. Reason being that um, someone over in Canada was trying to sell their coins on Craigslist. So hence why they were red, red flagged. Um, but obviously... You know, they're not a, a scam coin or a shit coin or anything like that. Uh, they were just flagged for that, you know, simple reason. Um, so at this point in time, uh, Krios and the team are working each and every day to, um, to rectify that issue and obviously, um, yeah, get the third of the, um, the third one of the three exchanges um, on board to move forwards and uh, obviously get us listed. At the end of the day, um, you know, there's not many coins that do have a working product and, uh, you know, the platform's going to take a bit of time as well. Um, you know, that's forecast for the end of the year. Um, in the third quarter, you know, uh, that'll be fully launched. Uh, and Krios will be refining their platform and optimizing the build your campaign uh, all in one solution, uh, which will be then leading into Q4 where they'll um, then be continuing to grow their customer user base. I really feel that the uh, coin will follow the product. You know, they're going to be bringing out a quality um, platform. You know, that they're focusing on quality and value over you know just throwing together a platform uh, that's just going to be wishy washy. At the end of the day, we all want a quality platform because at the end, you know, at the end of the day, we that's that's the whole idea of it. You're not just investing into any old coin. You're investing into a platform that's going to serve a $36 billion industry. That's absolutely huge. You know, we're not talking small dollars here. Um, you know, small, medium and large um, companies uh, are going to be utilizing this platform. You know, they're targeting a wide demographic, you know, from your small little companies being, you know, your small tradesmen like um, companies. Uh, to, all the way through to large business corporations. They're going to be bulk buyers, which is obviously going to drive supply and demand. If you take, for instance, um, as I know Chris has referred to before, a small restaurant owner, you know, he can't be everything. He, he can't be um, the, the marketer, the advertiser, that sort of thing. He needs a platform in which he can go to um, where there's an all-in-one solution for marketing, advertising, blogging, and searching for influencers, that sort of thing enabling him to really just focus on his business and grow his business rather than having to do all these different separate jobs. You know, he can't be perfect at everything. You know, this tradesman knows plumbing. That's what he does. He, he doesn't know how to market a business. So that's where he needs professional help on board. And as I've said, he needs a, a one-stop shop. If we take a look at uh, Krios's mission and uh, vision, uh, it's... Hold on, there we go. As to assist businesses to realize their potential with the simplest, most effective, and low cost digital marketing solution to be the world's leading social media platform. 
sorry, social media marketing platform. By 2021, they aim to make up over 10% of the digital marketing industry. That's absolutely huge. If we take a look at their um, circulating supply currently being uh, what 400 million with a uh, due next burn on uh, 14th of June of 45 million, um, and we've just gone already burnt 250 uh, million to date, that leaves 355 million in circulation. If we want to start talking numbers, pretty much a $1 billion market cap would pretty well put uh, KRI in the $2.81 range, but they want to have $3.6 billion um, worth of the industry, um, which is 10%, as I said before, bringing that um, price range to $10.14. By mid next year, I don't see any reason why not Creos can't be looking at a range of at least in the $1 range. Uh, for having a working product, having an app, and a great team behind them, this is definitely the figure that I'll be looking at towards mid-year for 2018, at least. We're going to see all sorts of different KRI holders, everyone from advertisers, content creators, influencers, marketing managers, bloggers, vloggers, designers, analysts, uh, customers being you know small, medium and large businesses and companies, uh, right through to the general public holding these coins, which is all going to help soak up um, and holding these coins, which is obviously going to, again, push up supply versus demand and ultimately increasing the price of the coin. Again, as I said before, you know, there are so many um, coins on the exchanges at this point in time that don't even have a real world use product. You know, they're months and even years away from having a, uh, a fully launched product, and yet they're still fetching, you know, 20, 30, 40 cents to a dollar and more. The beauty with Creos is the fact that they're pretty well, you know, they do have their shit together. And the, and the behind the scenes, they're working their asses off, you know. Chris and the team have been having so many sleepless nights, you know, he's been off traveling. Uh, mm -hmm. Although the crypto market is down, you know, they haven't let this phase them. They're still working uh, tirelessly um, building this, you know, the, the platform and everything else behind it. Also, just um, going back on uh, talking about the crypto sweep. At the end of the day, you know, as, as I said before, this is this is not a bad thing. The fact that we've got so much more regulation happening and ongoing um, is going to make it harder for all of the the shit coins to uh, be listed. Um, so you know, when you see Creos and um, you know a multitude of other different coins on there, you know, you, you know that you're going to be getting a real world um, product um, and coin that's actually going to be doing something. I really feel that utility coins are definitely the way to go, uh, in, in my opinion. They, you know, offering value to the world. Um, you, you know, if, if you want to utilize the service that they're using, you're going to have to purchase their coins. So that then obviously comes down to how beneficial the coin really is. You know, and when we're talking marketing, you know, that's that whole industry is moving in leaps and bounds. You know, it's so much bigger than it ever used to be. You know, people are moving from, um, you know, doing TV advertising towards digital marketing because you know people are constantly on their phone and social media these days that's where you're capturing people you know every second or third pe person you see wandering down the street this these days are glued to their phones you know they're looking at facebook and they're looking um you know on their twitter and that sort of thing that's where you capture your customers these days and uh, a lot of the big companies they know this hence why they're now targeting in that sort of way I know a lot of people have been recently saying, you know, when exchange and when this, when that, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, a couple of months here or there is not going to make a difference. Um, you know, I personally am a, a long-term holder. You know, I, I can see what Creos's mission and vision is, um, and I'm definitely a firm believer in it. Um, you know, as I said before, the coin will follow. Um, first, the quality and value come first. The product comes first. And that's what, uh, yeah, I know that Creos is really going to nail this because they know that that's what's most important. As uh, Chris mentioned in his uh, interview with 
Eric Vaughn. You know, he said, I would rather have, you know, five or 10 decent partnerships um, that are going to help improve uh, the quality of Creos rather than having, say, a thousand of meaningless ones or uh, ones that are going to just cause a little bit of a inflation spike just for the hell of it, you know? No, we want good, steady, uptrend growth. And I'm sure you want exactly the same. Well, that's pretty well all from me for now. Um, yeah, keep up to date with um, all that's going on via Telegram and Facebook. And uh, like me, I'm sure you're um, anxious, anxiously awaiting, um, well, excitingly waiting for the uh, Creos Wallet app to be released. So yeah, hopefully we see that in a not too distant future. And um, I'll catch you guys next time. Just a quick correction there. Uh, as you can tell, I'm definitely no professional. <laughs> Um, I mentioned my price prediction for next year being in the $1 uh, range for mid-year. I think I said 2018, but obviously I meant 2019. So yeah, in the meantime, uh, feel free to follow myself um, and Krios on Twitter for the latest updates.